What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for a brand new episode here on Sci Fi Wednesdays. We are back on the Narcissist Escape Shuttle from Alien, and today we're going to go ahead and jump in there, get some work done, get this thing all together, and hopefully paint it. As you can see, last episode we did go ahead and finish off those wires. We've got everything hooked in there. We did put four LEDs in the back. We also went ahead and added in some greeblies or widgets, whatever you want to call them, around the surface of the ship to increase the level of detail just slightly. So, so far, so good. Good. I love how this is coming together. So today we are finally at the stage of putting these halves together, gluing everything in there and getting some paint, priming, pre-shade, all that good stuff. Get that going on the ship. Let's go ahead and give you a real quick look at the lights again. I'm going to be using a three volt battery pack with a switch and we've got four LEDs on the inside. There are five millimeter LEDs. They're rated for two volts. So I did throw some resistors onto each of the LEDs. So that is great. As you can see, they light up. They're bright, but not too bright. So I'm pretty happy with that. But we're going to go ahead and jump into our first time lapse. And I want to go ahead and put everything together and then start filling up some of these seams between the front and the back halves of the ship. I've got some of our extra thin super glue back in stock along with some accelerators. So we are good with that. I love this stuff. It's awesome. And then let's see what else we can do. We got to do some marble coating, some pre-shade, all that good stuff. We can get in there and get this thing looking like the ship from the movie. So let's go ahead and jump on in there, guys. Let's start having some fun. Let's put together our shuttle.
right, everybody. So we are back. And so far, so good. The ship has gone together beautifully. It was just two halves, really, honestly. So it wasn't that complicated to go ahead and glue together. But we did quite a bit of work there on painting. I decided to push it a little bit more. And we went ahead and primed everything with filler primer. Then I came back and I pre-shaded with NATO black. That gave us deep shadow areas here and there around the different panel lines. And then I came in with some Tamiya buff and picked out certain panels to give it a little bit of almost like a marbling coat. And then I overcoated everything with Tamiya flat white. Just a very thin mixture of flat white to make sure that we get that dark NATO black and also that buff color showing through and kind of shifting that paint just ever so slightly. So I'm liking how this is coming out. Now though, we're going to have to come in and start doing some detailing. And one of the first things I noticed from looking at all the reference photos is we have to do a little bit of some markings here on the top of the ship. So I went over to my Cricut cutter and I actually drew up the E1 symbol that is very apparent on the studio model. And we're going to go ahead and airbrush that in three locations. We have the E1 facing backwards on each of the upper engines, and then we have an E1 facing forward right above the cockpit window. So that's where we're going to go ahead and jump in there next. I absolutely love my Cricut cutter. It has come in so handy over the years. So now we're going to go ahead and use it again to put down these stencils, and we're going to use a Tamiya RAF dark green to go ahead and get these all nicely painted on. Then all we have to do is hit it with the gloss coat and we can start doing some decaling because I have a ton of spares and stencils that hopefully we can go ahead and get this thing looking a little bit closer to what we have in the movie. It's not going to be 100% accurate, of course, as we can imagine, but it will be artistically very similar to what we see on film. So let's go ahead and jump back in there, guys. Let's get everything painted, gloss coated, and let's throw some decals on, see what happens.
everybody so we are back and here is the narcissist as you can see it we've got everything painted we've got the stencils on we've got the decals on we've got the stand of course in there i absolutely had a blast with all of these stencils and the decals i think it really brought the ship to life and also with the paint job we've got a little bit of wear and tear already built in to the top coats and next episode i can come back and do a little bit of weathering and i think we'll be in good position so yeah i'm really really digging how this is coming together it is a 3d printed model though so we have a few layer lines here and there but for the most part it's not too bad especially for three feet now if we zoom in you can check out i did do my own rendition of nose art apparently the studio model had nose art there below the front windows on either side of the shuttle i didn't have of course the same nose art but i went ahead and made my own out of some old decals from an arc kv1s i also went ahead and threw together any other spares that i could find based on references that i found so with the nose art and any of the other stencils that i pulled out of other spare decal sets i think this really brings it to life has a little bit of splash of color here and there and i think that is exactly what we needed the undersurface i also put on just a couple of placards here and there not exactly screen accurate but close enough for what i'm doing with this so i'm loving it i think it looks really cool and it captures that alien essence back of the shuttle you can see i painted on some red markings here and there We've got the engines painted up with the NATO black so that it doesn't look so stark. And yeah, I'm digging it. I think it looks pretty cool. Now for our base, I have these wooden boxes I picked up off of Amazon. I think I got a pack of four of them for pretty cheap. We're going to hopefully use one of these boxes to create our stand. That, of course, will be next episode because I want to get this enough time to dry. But next time we can come on back and sand down the box. Go ahead and drill a hole through there. Make sure that we have some ideas of what we want to do for the box itself. I'd like to kind of spice it up just a little bit. And then, yeah. We'll put in our switch, we'll glue everything together, and we should hopefully be finished with our alien shuttle. That'll be pretty neat. And again, you can find these on Amazon. They come in a variety of sizes and shapes, and they're pretty cheap. So I think we're on the right track. But yeah, that is it for us today, guys. I know I missed last week's episode. Everything got really busy last week, so it delayed me. But I think we are on a good trajectory now. So next episode, we're going to come on back, and I want to do some weathering. Now, most of the studio model is covered in some graphite powder that kind of gives it a bit more of that weathered appearance. But here, as you can see, I already have the pre-shade on, so I might use a little bit of AK panel liners. If not, of course, I can come in with some AIM weathering powder and just give it a little bit of darkening here and there. Like I said, I am absolutely loving this model. 3D printing is awesome. I really wish I had my own 3D printer. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us here. I'm so sorry I missed last week's episode, but we are back on track. So hopefully next week we'll finish off this build. So until then, you guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here for episode four of our narcissist alien shuttle from the movie alien thanks for watching everybody take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon